Hey everyone, it's Rob with Passport to the Parks and today is Saturday, August 31st and it is a very beautiful night here at Hollywood Studios. It's actually the calm before the storm. So uh, we are anticipating Hurricane Dorian coming through probably on Monday or Tuesday to Central Florida. Now it has been taking a good shift up to the north so that's a positive thing. We may not get the heavy impact that we thought we might. But I'm going to start here at Hollywood Studios. We're going to take a quick look and see how exactly they're preparing the Skyliner for the hurricane. Uh, so I'm going to turn you around real quick. We'll, we'll take a look at Hollywood Studios, maybe a couple other stations along the way as well. We'll just get a good idea of how, how they're going to prepare for this hurricane. Visit PassportToTheParks.com and also subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't done so and hit that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I put up videos. So let me get you turned around. We're going to have a great time. The first major thing we notice here at Hollywood Studios is they have taken down the green fence that was all along the side of the Skyliner station here. Now, I'm not sure if that is because of the hurricane, because there is some of that fence still on either side. Uh, so it doesn't look like they took it down for any safety reasons. But now all we have here is the, uh, the wire fencing. So we can see all the way into the station, which is awesome. So if it is because of the hurricane, that is very cool, because now we can actually see inside. But uh, like I said, there's still some, some of that fencing all the way in the back and all the way in the front as well. So I'm not sure if it's for safety reasons or not. Now what they've done is they've put uh, little green anchors in between some of the sheaves. Uh, looks like about every four towers or so. Uh, there's some down towards the middle of the parking lot here, but it's basically securing the haul rope into the sheaves. So if there's any uh, extreme winds, any extreme force, and the towers may shift a little bit, that the haul rope should hopefully stay in place and that the haul rope won't come off the sheaves or snap or anything like that. So it looks like they've taken some precautions to secure the haul rope before the storm and again it looks like the storm is shifting a little bit to the north so we may not get the heavy impact that everybody is assuming uh, which is a great thing uh, we definitely want to stay safe but it'll be a true test for the Skyliner here so cannot wait to uh, see what happens afterwards uh, hopefully everything is going to be fine uh, they are taking the precautions necessary it looks like everything is parked there's no testing and we're going to look at the Caribbean Beach as well so you can see that the Disney Skyliner sign is still barely wrapped um, if Disney isn't going to take the wrapping off, I'm sure Mother Nature will over the weekend, so maybe we'll finally see the unveiling of this Skyliner sign uh, after Dorian rolls through. If not, hopefully Disney will remove the rest of it and just let us see the, uh, the beautiful sign already. So this is about the, uh, the only remaining fence that's left, and now they transitioned into the wire fence. So this looks more like a sail. So if a wind current could, uh, could get a hold of this, it looks like this could tear through pretty well. But then the, the mesh fencing or the wire fencing, looks like the wind currents could probably go through that a little easier. But now we can definitely get a clear view inside without the, the tall fence here. You can just kind of hold the camera up a little bit and get a nice view inside the station. It'll be even better once the gondolas are in there. But again, just one step closer to getting open on September 29th. Now, hopefully that uh, the hurricane will not delay this in any way. I would hate to see that happen if Disney has to announce another opening date, uh, depending on if there's any damage or anything. So we'll definitely have to keep a close eye on that as well. So over here at uh, Caribbean Beach, where the central hub is, all of the Skyliner gondolas are actually all secured. This is going to be the first true test through Hurricane Dorian here of how the Disney Skyliner is going to hold up through some heavy winds. Now, although uh, Dorian is actually shifting, we may not get the Category 4 that we were thinking of. We're still going to get some pretty heavy winds, so it'll be interesting to see how well that the entire Skyliner system holds up, and especially the gondolas. They look to be pretty secure in the yard, so we'll have to uh, hope for the best and wait to see what happens after the hurricane. So it doesn't look like much of a change here over at the International Gateway at Epcot. Uh, they did add this beautiful arch, but this has been here for a few weeks at least. Uh, this is going to be the entryway. And it looks like they've left the fence here. So the fence that they removed over at Hollywood Studios doesn't appear to be hurricane related because they did leave this same type fencing up here. So I guess they're pretty confident that this fencing can withstand any of the possible hurricane force winds that might come through. And again, they would have uh, secured these sheaves uh, a little further down the line just to make sure that there's no fluctuation in the haul rope. That archway really looks really cool. I like that a lot. So this is, I'm assuming, is where you're going to enter. And then on the opposite side is where you'll exit. Um, to get onto 
or into the uh, International Gateway, the new uh, entryway that they're building over there. You know, I may actually correct myself for my last statement. Uh, this could very well be the exit on this side because they have been running the International Gateway in a clockwise motion instead of the, uh, the normal counterclockwise that we've been seeing at the other stations. So people may actually be coming in and exiting through this arch and then entering uh, through the opposite side as they're uh, maybe coming out of the International Gateway, the entranceway over there. They would be entering on the other side and then exiting on this side. So uh, interesting to kind of see how this is going to play out. Uh, when it's actually done and up and running we'll have to keep an eye on that but we're here to talk about the weather and not actual operations today so let's just get through the hurricane sounds good to me now i'm actually going to show these towers we can't actually see the wedges that they've put in the sheaves uh, but they're more than likely going to be about every four or so towers down the line here and that again is just to hold the to hold the haul rope in place uh, what i really wanted to bring you over here is to show you what's going on with ratatouille uh, this is a Skyliner video, but hey, we're going to throw Ratatouille in here as well because the construction looks amazing over here. Uh, they really have done a lot with the wall. This is going to be the entryway that will bring you from uh, France and back into Remy's little world back here. And again, that is the new crepe restaurant right there. And then, of course, the facade for Remy's adventure is looking quite amazing. So it'll actually look really great once the Skyliner is running uh, enough of it to you know, have these gondolas come by and not be too much of an eyesore during the construction phase here. But uh, hopefully, again, Hurricane, it's not gonna do much damage. Uh, it's still turning to the north, so fingers crossed, uh, we're gonna have uh, a good outcome out of this. A beautiful shot of the Hollywood Studios Skyliner station coming back from Epcot. Heading back into Hollywood Studios. Station is all lit up, looks amazing. You can see just a little bit of the red spires there on the other side. It really does look pretty with all the lights on. This is always such a beautiful ride coming back on the Friendship Boats. Before we wrap up this video, we'll just take a quick look at how beautiful the Hollywood Studios Skyliner Station looks at night. The beautiful red spires lit up. Cannot wait to see this in full motion. Gondolas, people, excitement, all that awesome stuff. But let's get through the Hurricane Dorian first. All right, everyone, so there you have it. We started here earlier in the day. We checked out the Skyliner stations, gonna see exactly what they do to secure for Hurricane Dorian. And we went over to the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival, had a little treat over there, and now we're back here and we're just gonna wrap it up for the night. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, fingers crossed that we're all gonna come through okay with the hurricane. Uh, definitely lots of prayers and thoughts for everyone in the path of Hurricane Dorian. Uh, all the people, the cast members, the guests, everybody here at Disney World, uh, everyone just please be safe. Uh, everyone in Florida, the Bahamas, Georgia, the Carolinas, anywhere that could be in the path. So let's just all send uh, our thoughts and prayers. And I know I'm going to be safe. My family will be safe. So uh, other than that, visit uh, PassportToTheParks.com and definitely subscribe here if you haven't done so and hit that bell icon. Uh, we'll come back after the hurricane and we'll check to see what exactly happened. Hopefully nothing and hopefully everything will be fine. So until the next time, you guys have a great night and we'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye-bye.